So I know I talk a lot about dressing up and how your clothing should fit for that, but not every day is going to be a suit and tie day. Other times we're gonna to wanna to go t-shirts and jeans, but the one thing you should focus on is every day should be a properly fit day. So all of your clothes, no matter what it be or what level of casual or formal it is, it should always fit. So take this t-shirt for example. One, I'm gonna to wanna to slim it up in the body. Some people might wanna trim up the sleeves a little bit, but I mean, it's not as necessary on this shirt. And I bought the shirt on sale, so I wasn't being able to be as picky as I wanted to be with the size and fit. So I figured I'd come home and be able to do it myself. And honestly guys, anybody can do this alteration themselves. It's super simple. You're just gonna need your basic equipment. One, you're gonna need a machine, obviously. You're gonna want a ironing board and iron, or if you don't have an ironing board, use a towel like I'm using here. You're gonna want tailor's chalk or a pen, depending on how light the shirt is and if it'll be seen through it. And you're gonna wanna be a little bit careful with the pen as well. You're gonna want matching thread, pins, and a measuring tape or ruler. Now that's gonna be all you need, guys. And then as far as the stitch is, you're just gonna need a basic straight stitch, nothing crazy. That'll get you through this project. Now guys, let's hop into the sewing of the shirt so that you can get all your clothes to properly fit you. So you, so you can either use a safety pin or a straight pin. I'm gonna use some straight pins on this just cause it's a little bit easier to remove and change around if I don't like how it fits but it's totally personal preference. So what you're gonna do is stand up straight, either have a friend help you or yourself pinch in the amount that you want on each side. Now remember, you don't wanna make this too tight because letting it out is gonna be more of a pain than it's worth, so it's better to take it in a little bit and then take in more later. Do it on both sides, make sure it works well, and you're ready to go. Now, once you have the shirt off, your next step is going to be determining how much you pinned in on the sides. Now on this guy here, find the pin right here, grab the ruler. This is going to come in just under an inch, three quarters of Now you're gonna to want to duplicate that on both sides. Now, if you're like me and have a terrible memory, write that down so you don't forget it you're going to be taking the pins out and you're not going to go back and measure unless you try it back on and that's just going to take extra amount of time once you have the pins out number written down turn your shirt inside out like this now with your iron already hot on the ironing board or towel you're just going to be pressing down this side seam right here Don't let the iron sit too long because you don't want to scorch the shirt. Then repeat the process on the other side. Now that that's all done, you're going to take your roller and then we're going to mark along the edge how much we want to take in. Now here we are moving along and what we're going to want to do is measure the amount that we're gonna take in. Now we wrote down three quarters, but we're going to actually take in less than that because the way that it works is when you're taking in a seam, you wanna split that measurement in half so that you get the full measurement when you take it in on one side because if I take in three quarters here, three quarters on this side will also be taken in making it an inch and a half rather than just three quarters. So we're just gonna split that difference a little bit. Just under about three quarters. Not three quarters, three eighths, my bad. Now you can either use a pen to mark these, but I will say try and use as little dots as possible because if you wash it, the ink can bleed through the shirt if it's a lighter colored shirt, or if you took in too much on the first go around and you wanna let it out, you'll have a pen mark across the entire shirt. So if you can, use Taylor's chalk, but if not, use very light pen marks. And I'm going to do the max amount here. And then as I go down, I'm going to slowly taper it out of the shirt. And then right down to here, where it's going to be tapered in. And 
then we're gonna go also mark upwards. Also tapering the shirt into the armpit. Now when you're doing a shirt like this, you can also take it in in the sleeves. Now that's gonna be just about the same amount of work, but some sleeves are a little bit different. As you can see here, this one has a fold over on the edge, so you might wanna undo that, go all the way through and re-tack it over, but sometimes shirts will just go straight up and you can just follow that seam straight out because this is going to be under your arm. It's not gonna be as noticeable as if it was on the outside, but this shirt fits me fine in the sleeve, so I'm just gonna focus on the body. Now, once you have those marks done, you're going to just play a game of connect the dots and draw some chalk straight along all of those marks that you just made. So we got the shirt marked. We're ready for the next stage of sewing the actual piece to where we want it to fit. Now, what I already did is I already threaded the machine with a thread that is going to be as similar as I could get it that I had on me. So yeah, just make sure that your thread matches what either is already there or the exact color of the shirt. And if you have problems threading your machine, you can go back to my old video on machine basics and I'm gonna show you just kind of the flow of how to put the thread through the needle, through all the gizmos and gadgets and get it through. But once you have that all squared away, we're gonna get into the actual sewing to the actual sewing. So here we go. Lift the presser foot up. I'm gonna start right here at the bottom. Now as far as settings go on on doing a stitch like this, you're gonna to wanna to do a straight stitch. So for me, that's gonna be turning that over to where it says it on here. Length, I wanna do it like about a two because I don't want it to be too small that it's not gonna come out easy if I wanna let it out or if I mess up. And I don't want it too big to where if I get it right, I have to go back over it because the threads can come loose. And then as far as width, doesn't matter because we're doing a straight stitch. approaching the end you're going to want to be tapering it back in and when you get to the edge you're going to want to use this machine here this actual function here is what I should say and back tack it so that it doesn't come undone lift up undo and there you have the one side of your shirt just copy it on the other side now you guys have no excuses for going ill properly fitted on your casual clothing because you saw how simple that was. Now as you can see with this video, it's going to fit you a lot better throughout the body of the shirt. Nothing too crazy, but you can definitely see where it was taken in. The sleeves, yeah, probably could pr be taken in, but that's another video that I'll make for you guys in the future. But for right now, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. The side seams are clean, nothing was too hard about this project. Now, gentlemen, if there's anything that you would like to see or ladies that you would want me to demonstrate and have done for you, I would be happy to do it. Just leave it in the comment section or just send me a direct message. I'm Lewis and have a wonderful day.